Everybody yeah. wants a piece of this action, Joe. And, you know, they can call it what they want, but the July sales, really, they're inventory clearouts this year. I mean, look for the biggest promotions to be on the items that retailers have too much of at the wrong time. COVID demand swelled in categories like bikes and patio furniture, so then retailers responded and they ordered more. But the supply chain delays and changing consumer demand means many retailers are now stuck with the goods and the costs of storing them. Less than 24 hours ago, Gap Inc. said CEO Sonia Single is stepping down after two years in the top job. It's inventory 34% above where it was last year. And Single said merchandise is, quote, out of sync with what consumers want. Gap and Old Navy then, as a result, have 50 to 60% off sales today. Target's been slashing prices, too, to move excess goods. American Eagle inventory, that's up 46% year-over-year, clothing up to 70% off there. Walmart isn't marketing a specific event, but it has thousands of rollbacks right now anyway. CEO Doug McMillan said he'd like to, quote, wash away about 20% of its current inventory. A Placer.ai analysis shows that higher store traffic at off-price retailers like Ross in recent weeks is up, though overall visits to apparel Apparel stores is down year over year as inflation rages on. So the off-price sector may benefit from the excess inventory and whatever doesn't sell during these shopping events as well. The retail ETF, the XRT, that's well underperformed the broader S&P 500 in the last month. And typically, Prime Day doesn't lift Amazon stock. Over the last seven years, if you look at Amazon stock performance during this event, whether it's one or two days, it's down an average of about 0.14%. So it doesn't move the needle so much at least for investors immediately. Joe? In the, uh, just thinking about what Target said a couple weeks ago, it's kind of interesting what, you know, and also it sounds like Walmart, mm -hmm. which didn't say exactly what Target said, but a lot of issues, right, with not having, you know, having one thing during the pandemic, Stockton, and then having something else after the pandemic. I, I don't envy the job uh, of a CEO of any of those. And then Gap, just forget it. I mean, I wouldn't even... <laughs> Can you imagine, like, trying to figure out what to stock the stores with? No, for, with it's, fickle... it is a really hard job. I think people think retail is easy, but getting the fundamentals right is really tough. Getting the products that consumers want when they want it at right. the right price, it's so hard. Right. And this world right. makes things in some ways more complicated being so interconnected. Right. It's not always just, making it easier. That's just the whims of fashion. Think about the supply chain sure. issues and, and cost uh, issues with, with inflation and very, very difficult. Okay. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks, Glad Joe. you're... you're uh, you help us with, with that.